Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today I'm going to do something. I don't know if I've ever done a Sephora sale recommendations video. So I think a lot of times what happens is like what happened this morning, I get overwhelmed. There's so many things that I love that I think that you would love and I feel like my camera is crooked. Let me see. What I did is I chose, I tried to choose 10. I, I hope I don't have more than that here. I tried to choose 10 things that are kind of new to me and like I haven't told you about them over and over and over again for years. And also what I'm going to do is I, my cart, I tell you, and I've even taken stuff out of this. My cart is at $1,161. I will get what, 20% off? So anyway, I'm going to tell you what I've got in my cart, but first I'm going to tell you some things that I have been loving. A lot of these were actually on my, the side of my tub in a pile so I could do a favorites video. So this is, I can't really say it's a favorites because I would have more stuff than this. But anyway, so these are some things that I have been really loving in the past couple of weeks or months. Okay, first thing is this brush. And I know it's probably expensive, but I use this brush every day. This end is so good for every kind of powder. And then this end is so good for blush, um, setting your under eye concealer, highlight, everything. I mean, this brush is just amazing. I do not think you would regret getting this brush. Okay, Chanel is going to come up here and I have to say, you guys, I love my animals. I love them, but they are, there is no, there is nowhere I can hide. Even if I'm in the little bathroom and shut the door, they put their paws up underneath and meow at the door. And here, is she, here she's coming. They follow me around from room to room. Here's Sassy. Hey, baby. I mean, I love them so much, but gosh, I need a break. Hey, I'm going to sit with me later. This All morning, she was sitting behind me in my desk chair. So anyway, where was I? I'm feeling, I'm definitely, definitely feeling the effects of the just quarantine lately. So I'm sorry. And the reason I haven't been here this week so far is because I had my room painted upstairs and it was just painted. Um, I picked, um, is it, I think Benjamin Moore Chantilly Lace, just a, a nice white. But, you know, I had to take everything and put it in the middle of my room, and then they put plastic. They unplugged, like, all my computers and everything, and then they put um, plastic over everything. So, there was, like, two days that I couldn't get in my room. So, that is where we are. Okay, the next thing is I was thinking of primers. This is such a good time when they're on sale to get primers, because that's just, for me, that's just not a fun thing to get. But this one is so good. This Tatcha primer. If you have tried the silk canvas that is like a putty, I like that, but I don't have the patience for that every day. Like, there's just something about having to undo the lid, scoop some out, all that kind of stuff. It's just, if I'm really, really, really going for it, and I really care about my pores, I might do that. But this is just good. It smells good. It feels good. It makes your makeup last longer. It makes it look smoother. It helps fill in the pores, like on the sides of my nose. It's just a good one. So I would say that would be a great thing to get. Okay, this is something I've told you guys about so many times before, but I just feel like it's expensive, and now would be a great time to get it, and that is the Lancer Scrub. I use so many different scrubs and uh, glycolic things, but this is something that you can use every morning or every night. It's... There's just something about how easy it is. I mean, like, you just put it in your hand, put it up, and it is almost like, I know that they have a cleanser too, but it says this daily skin polish is a skin resurfacing treatment and the first step to the Lancer method. Um, let's see, I'm not going to go through all of it, but it doesn't leave your skin feeling stripped. It almost has a little bit of a hydrated feeling and it works. And it's just like, to me, it's the perfect thing in the morning to do before you put your makeup on. And I have loved it. This is my, I think my third one. I'll go along with skincare, this eye cream. Now I've got a new one that I'm going to show you tomorrow in my haul video from Laura Mercier that's illuminating that I will try. But this is just, I use this every morning. 
It's the Ole Henriksen, I'm bad about that, Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. Uh, vitamin C, collagen boosted. It feels good. It makes my concealer go on really, really well. And it gives you just a little bit of, I don't know, I hate to say coverage. Oh gosh, you can see I was swatching lip liners. It just gives you a little bit of a, a little bit of dark circle coverage and a little bit of a glow underneath your eyes. And then a lot of times I'll put this on, you know, with like my skincare and then I might come back, you know, 20 or 30 minutes to start putting my makeup on and you can still feel it up underneath your eyes. It soaks in, but it still leaves your eyes real moisturized. I love it. I love it. Okay, so going along with under your eyes, this concealer. You guys know I have purchased, I don't know, I purchase concealers just every time a new one comes out, I get it. And I've actually got something in my cart that's going to help with that. But this concealer is so good. It's the Hourglass, um, I think it's called the Vanish or something, but this, the color is, yeah, Vanish. The color is sepia and it just is beautiful in every way. This tone is beautiful. I've got it on today. The tone is beautiful. The finish is beautiful. The coverage is beautiful. It does not seem to you know, crease and everything under my eyes. I would say if you like NARS um, Creamy Concealer, but you're looking for just maybe a little bit more coverage, this would be a good one. And if you use, I use Custard in that, and I use Sepia in this, and it's just so good. I could go on and on, but I know I've got to move quickly here. Brows, I just got this in the mail from Nordstrom, but I believe, I believe Sephora carries this too. It is the Clinique Superline liner for brows and the color is soft brown it's what i've got on today and i think it is the perfect color for when you want your brows to be sharp but not dark you know what i mean just it gives that perfect it's a real taupey brown without being green or gray it's just wonderful okay, this i have told you about over and over again but it would be such a good time to get it and my hair today guys i was trying to do something different i thought what i want to do is i wanted to try that whole tati and kind of like that 90s vibe where it just goes back and it's just got lots of body kind of like um cindy crawford in the pepsi commercial or um, Angelina Jolie wears her hair back a lot too. So that is what I'm trying. I don't know if I'm accomplishing it. So if you're wondering why I keep touching my hair, it's because it's different. Okay, so where was I going with that? I was going to this. This is something I have told you about so many times lately, but it's a perfect time to get it. It is this YSL Touche Clot 3D All Over compact powder in universal and it is universal i had one of my subscribers and friends asked me last night was it going to be too dark for her i really don't think so to me it doesn't seem to add any darkness i don't use it for a bronzer i don't even really use it for a setting powder i use it with this brush after i've done all of my face products i kind of go over it with this this powder blends everything together and blends like your lines um, like your contour and stuff. So I really think it's pretty. It gives the best. Let me see if I can show you on my hand. See how it gives the best glow, but not a bit, bit, bit of shimmer. I mean, none of that like kookiness. It just literally just makes you glow. It's just so pretty. I love it. Even if you got it for just your collarbone and everything, I think you would love it. It's just such a good product. This is something new that I just used. Did I just use it one time with you guys? I don't even know. I have made so many videos that never made it to YouTube. I mean, I made one Sunday. I made one Monday. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, they were painting. And, you know, so many more. So I never know what you really get to see. But this is the... Oh gosh, somebody told me the, I know it gets on everybody's nerves so bad when I pronounce names wrong. I'm just going to spell it. B-O-N-D-I, Bay, and it is the Nude Sticks, and like I said, it has this little brush on here that I would not use for anything, I don't think, unless it was just my eye contour, but it is such a pretty color. I have it on today, 
and I realized that I love contour a lot more than a lot of people do. And I did have my Charlotte Tilbury contour wand in this stack, but that can be, it's for the contour lover. This is for someone who just wants a little bit of contour and bronze at the same time. Like if you like the Chanel Universal. Um, another good one is Hula, the Hula Stick. The Hula Stick is not quite as warm as this. So if you wanted one a little bit cooler, the Hula Contour Stick is better. But this is just good. I mean, I used it around my hairline today and it's just a really good product. And I see a lot of people using this. A lot of people like it. And the last two I have on today, and this is something that I had kind of misplaced. <laughs> and I found it when I was going through my lip liners and put, putting them all in that little case that I have now. And I put it in my bottom drawer and then I kind of forgot about it. And it is this Burberry lip contour, lip color contour, and it is in medium. And I'll be honest with you, I don't even know if this is at Sephora because I think I got this at Nordstrom now that I'm thinking about it, but they should have it, I would think. It is just such a neat product. I had Brooke use it when I was getting ready this morning because I just, I wanted to show her how fabulous it is. It's just so good to go around the contours of your lips and then go back in with a lip liner, your favorite lip liner, and it just creates the biggest, fullest, prettiest lip and I just love it. So this would be a good time to get this. Um, and like I said, I have got the medium number three and then this lip gloss. You know, I am a Buxom Celeste lover, but I am hoping that you all already have that. This is that new Fenty Gloss Balm in Sweet Mouth and it is so pretty. To me, what it's good for is days like today. So today I put on the Burberry Lip Contour and then I went in with the Charlotte Tilbury, I think Hot Gossip, a little bit of a darker lip liner, and then I filled in with this. And this kind of just brings everything together, just like the Celeste, it gives you a little bit of sparkle, and it looks pretty over every lipstick. It's just a good one. Okay, so that is my suggestions from the things that I have. Now I want to get into my cart. So I'm just going to look them up on my phone. That's why I'm not recording on my phone. And, um, We'll see what I have in there. So the first thing I have in here is the Tom Ford Eye Color Quad in Mink Mirage. I believe I saw one of my friends on Instagram, Sally, I believe I saw that this might be the new um, kind of taken over for Coco Mirage that they discontinued. So I put this in here. I got the Beauty Blender Solid Pro. I've never purchase this great big one. It's $45, but I love, that's my favorite way to deep clean is just to have the bar. And so I'm going to get that and I'm going to get the black one. Uh, the Armani Beauty Power Fabric Longwear High Coverage Foundation. And I'm getting 5.5, which was I think a light, medium, neutral. I am just, I must be the only person on the planet that I cannot get the luminous silk to work for me. It just doesn't have enough coverage. I can't get the right tone. I do like mixing it with like long wear foundations. I do love that, but I've never been able to use it on its own. So I thought I would try that. Okay, the Clinique Powder Pop Flower Bronzer, just because you guys know I love trying different bronzers. The NARS Matte Laguna. So I told you I have fallen back in love with my NARS Laguna bronzer. Well, I want to try the matte one and see what it's like. Oh my gosh, this is embarrassing. The Tarte Park Avenue Princess Waterproof Face and Body Bronzer. Now, the reason I wanted to try this one is, of course, I wanted to see how it compares to the Laura Geller bronzer that I always use. I'm curious if it maybe will have just as much coverage and staying power because it's waterproof but maybe not as much sparkle so that is the reason i want to try that the surat beauty releve lash curler i'm not even one who curls my lashes but i hear people talk about this surat lash curler or surat so much that i want to try it next one is grande cosmetics grande lipstick plumping lipstick satin finish in all natural 
uh, the Becca Ignite Liquefied Light Face and Body Highlighter, and the color I got is Strength, which is a bronzy color, and I've been seeing that a lot of people like to use this not only on their body, but as like a first step or to mix in with their foundation, so I thought I might give that a try. Um, this one I kind of thought of Brooke. It's the Milk Makeup Melatonin Overnight Lip Mask because she loves any lip mask there is. It got great reviews. It said that I think the scent must be something like, um, it's probably lavender or something like that that helps you go to sleep. Okay, this is something that I saw someone use this morning and I thought, you know, that would probably be a really good thing for me to get because I have so many concealers that I get that are a little bit too dark. And so I'm gonna order this Ur Urban Decay Stay Naked Pro Customizer in pure white. And that way I can put a dot in with like that Lorac concealer. I've got a Lorac one, I've got a uh, Jeffree Star one. I've, I know I've got like a, I've got a NARS. I've got several concealers that I love, but they're too dark. So I'm gonna just see how that works. Um, the Too Faced Peach Perfect Instant Coverage Concealer Peaches and Cream Collection in Pound Cake. And I did have the brush that went with this, but I took that out because I figured I know I've got a brush. Okay, this is something I have almost bought so many times, but it's so expensive. And I, matter of fact, I can remember almost buying this last time they had a sale when I was in Houston. And it's the Natasha Denona Biba all natural eyeshadow palette. It's like a big palette. It's $129, but it's got some really good, like cooler, cool and warm neutrals in it. So I want to try that. Okay, this one I cannot wait to try in the in a different shade. It's the Guerlain L'Essential Natural 16 Hour Wear Foundation, and I'm gonna get a different color. I showed you guys that I got one that is too dark, but I have actually been using it with foundations that are a little light or using it like in the darker areas of my face because it is so pretty. The tone is just gorgeous. The foundation is gorgeous. I just love it. So I didn't end up sending it back. So I'm gonna try um, 35W, I think. I think someone told me to try that. I think when I did the shade match on here, it said a cool color. But anyway, the Huda Beauty Nymph Body Blur and Glow Brush. It's like a wedge brush that looks really similar to my Eco Tools brush that so many of you love, but it's not available anymore. And I thought I would try this to see how much it is like it and use it with the body bronzers. Okay, this is a request from Brooke because she saw one of her favorites using this. And it is the Marc Jacobs Beauty Pout Liner Longwear Lip Liner in Nudist. Now I know I've had this and I don't think it was quite dark enough for what I wanted, but what I think of when I think of Marc Jacobs lip liners, I think of them breaking off. Like every time you twist it up, it breaks off. And then the next time you go to use it, you have that weird, you know, uneven stick thing to start with. So I'm hoping, I know I've heard other people talk about that, so I'm hoping that they have probably done something about that. <laughs> no complaining or anything. Okay, the Charlotte Tilbury Matte and Metallic Double Ended Eyeliner in Mesmerizing Maroon. I saw someone use this and it just looked so pretty and I thought, I'm really trying to play with the whole waterline and different colors. I've really, um, Urban Decay Bourbon was in this little stack, but I, I know I've told you guys about that so much and a lot of you probably already have it, but that is my favorite waterline color of the moment. Okay, so the Mesmerizing Maroon, another Tom Ford Eye Quad in um, Sue Le Sable. I think this is supposed to be like a rosy, um, I can't remember how they described it. Let me click on it. Let's see, neutral rose tones. And I'm always, I love that. Kind of like if you want, my favorite neutral rose tone is, and it doesn't describe it like this, but on my skin it, it is this. And it's the MAC Soft Brown. So I'm hoping it's gonna be something similar to that. Okay, then the Charlotte Tilbury Luxury Eyeshadow Palette in Mesmerizing Maroon. To go with the pencil, I wanted to get the eye quad. And gosh, did I pick out three of the Tom Ford eye quads? Because this one is De La Creme, I've got here. 
and it is warm golden browns. I don't know which one I'm going to get rid of if I do. Okay, this is something when I was telling you guys about the, oh gosh, um, House of Siage fragrance that I have been loving so much, the one that's got the watermelon scent to it. A lot of you guys told me to try the Dolce & Gabbana number no. three that it has. Let me read the notes in this. Almost five stars out of 851 reviews. Um, her life is a movie and she is the heroine. I won't read you that part. <laughs> okay. Succulent, exotic fruits, and bright pink florals give way to a musky, appetite-arousing base. But it's supposed to be like a fruity floral, like I really like in the summertime. My all-time favorite, and if you 90 girls, 90s girls are out there, is New West. That was just like the ultimate fragrance ever. And so that is what I am channeling with that watermelon scent and like with a little bit of um, amber in it too. So I'm hoping if you like that, then you would definitely love the um, House of Siage, but we'll see about this one too. Okay, and then the last thing I have on here is another matte and metallic double-ended eye in Copper Charge. So I doubt I need the maroon and the copper. So leave me a comment down below and see which one you think I should get rid of, the copper or the maroon. Oh no, I don't know. That's what I hate doing is when I have to get rid of stuff because I've already gotten rid of so many things that I have been adding along the way. So that is my cart and those are my suggestions. Today I have on the jumpsuit from anthropology, I was going to say air apostle, <laughs> anthropology that I showed you and I did get a belt. I actually have gotten three metal belts in the past couple of weeks with this in mind, but this one I think looks the best. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here is the belt and it's made by Below the Belt and I will probably put the link down below. I don't think it gives the actual name of it, but I love it. And I feel like it's perfect for this outfit because I wanted just a little something to cinch in the waist. And I didn't, the, you guys have seen the square one. Let me get the other ones. So here is the square one that I got from Zara, which is fabulous. I mean, this belt could not be any better. It's just gorgeous, but it wasn't small enough to wear, like right here where this waistline is. And here's the whole jumpsuit. I love it. I love it. It's so different for me, but I love it. And I've got it on just with my Gucci gold shoes. I don't know that I would wear these with this. I might just go for a nude or I don't know what I would do. It's got the navy in it. And I don't have any navy shoes, but honestly, I think it would look good with any type of metallic flip-flops or a nude shoe, even your red. Definitely a gold, especially if you had a gold flat. I'm going to try to get over that. <laughs> okay, so let me stand back. Okay, you guys, I am sweating. I don't know what it is. My nerves are just so shot. I don't know. And then the, that belt just <laughs> sent me over the edge. <laughs> okay, so I've got on these earrings, which are perfect for this outfit. They are the Miranda Fry, some of my favorite earrings. I've also got on some of my rings from her that I love and that one too and then my wedding ring and still loving the nails just the best even if I've been working in not really in the yard but doing my flowers on the porch and then we had that crazy storm come through and I had to bring all my flowers back in and then put them all back out and I busted off a couple nails just doing stuff like that. But they just, you know, you just glue them right back on. It's just, it's, it's easier than when you break off a acrylic nail or something, you know? The same U necklace that Kelly still has 20% off at Oliver along with the whole website. And I think that's it. So I hope this video is just not crazy, crazy long. I hope that I showed you something that maybe you would like and make you happy. I know a lot of times when the Sephora sale comes around, I kind of choke because I, I don't know. It's like, I don't want to just get a lot of stuff just because. So this time I'm so glad that you guys mentioned it to me so I could not order the things that I already naturally wanted. So everything in there is not something that I just threw in there just to throw in there. It's things that I really have been wanting to try. So <laughs> thank you guys for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. This one I got too, but I would not suggest this one. Ah, thank you.
falling apart. <laughs> and I'm going to send this back for sure because I cannot even keep it together or long enough to even show you guys. It's pitiful. So anyway, that is that one. But that's fine because I like the one that I got. And then, okay, so this is the last, or this is one. And then this one I got. Also got this one from Below the Belt. I don't think I've worn it, but I just thought the one I have on looks better, but I'll try this one. Oh my goodness. It is the Clinique liner or brow. And today I have on that body, body suit, 